Welcome back to BT. For many kids, the start of school is still a few weeks away, but parents are starting to think about back to school season and how to make that transition from summer to September as smooth as possible. Our parenting expert, Gail Bell, is here now with where we should start. Good morning to you, Gail. Good morning. It's a big time of transition. I know, and I don't want to take the last month of summer away. No, of course, of Not course. Not at all, but... Right? At Parenting Power, when we coach families, we do hear reoccurring themes um, that come up in September, and our phone starts ringing I'm a sure. lot right now, or our emails start coming in. I have say course. I just aged myself. Of but course. And, and it's really about mornings, evenings, screens, and homework slash chores, or we could group that all into responsibility. responsibility. So those are okay. basically the four biggest itch, itches for families. For and really families communicate to us like you know we're arguing all the time in the morning and right and you know we're yelling at night when we should be calm going to sleep and yeah. you know so it's that's not how you want to start your day that's not how you want to finish your day right you know so really so where do we start then like right. do, we, do we just pick that one issue and start there yeah okay you really do and the thing about anything in life Einstein's definition of insanity right. is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting, and expecting a different change. result. Yes. And we talk too much as parents, you know, so in the moment we're just talk, 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 but we never make, not never, that's it. No. Often don't make. It's a struggle to make right. that follow through. And we yeah. need to make a plan. We can't make a plan around everything or we feel overwhelmed. So just one thing okay. in your family and talk with your partner and decide what's what's most important for us so is and that's it, going to be different for every family right it's going to be different for every family and how that works is going to be different for every family so something simple as if you're fighting every morning about what your children are going to eat for breakfast right make a plan around that sit down with them and say you know nutrition is important in our family that's something we value so let's brainstorm together of all the things we can eat for breakfast and then we're going to set a schedule and it's not going to change. Okay. How important is it to get the kids involved in that process? It's pretty important and it but it depends on ages and stages because okay. a five-year-old is going to have a lot less um, to say than an 18-year-old or a 17-year-old, sure. right? So you have to say what's appropriate ages and stages. You know, a five-year-old does not choose their bedtime. No. Right, no. and I'm not saying a 17-year-old chooses their bedtime, but there's more wiggle room, right? Because you right. do have to prepare them to go out and start making better choices on their own. On their own, right? So you know, it's about working with them for sure. And then bedtime, it's like so many families say, you know, we're just—it's crazy. They're not getting enough sleep, and we value sleep, and we know how important sleep is. It's like, okay, let's you, make a plan. Let's make a plan, but you've got to stick. To it as a team. Why do you think parents struggle these days with following through and that consistency? I mean, I know my parents, they don't have a problem with that at all. <laughs> I think there's two big reasons we want to make our kids happy. Right. And I think there's a huge distraction in our world called screens. Right. Even for parents. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So parents need to work on those things as well then, Yeah, right? we all have things to work on for sure. Okay. And it's about, you know, working as a team and saying, you know, we we need to do this as a family, we need to do this for our health, we need to do this so we're, we work together and we know, but it's consistency and, and kids learn what they live. Right. They're learning, so if you're consistently saying things and never following through, you'll see that in their schoolwork. Right. They'll say, yeah, I'm going to work really hard this semester, and then they've never lived where the consistency is the expectation. Right. And, the and we've talked about how if you make that plan and the kids actually follow through with it and change actually occurs, then they see the results and feel quite empowered and kind of special. And they're and like, fulfilled. hey, this worked and fulfilled. And right? capable. Yes. That yes. they can do something and make a yeah. change. Okay, terrific. Really Gail, important. Gail, thank you so much. Great advice as always. You bet.